Welcome to another conversational AI Cloud feature highlight. Today, we'll be looking at intense and real-time language detection and translations in CM.com's conversational AI Cloud. Intent recognition is the task of taking any input and classifying it based on what the user wants to achieve. Intent recognition forms the basis of recognition in conversational AI Cloud and plays a key role in driving sales conversions, customer support, and any other areas where a platform plays a key role. Today, we'll be creating and defining an intent model through Conversational AI Cloud CMS. We'll be adding a simple Q&A article to our project, which will provide our end users with an answer once the intent is matched. And we'll also be looking at a real-time language detection and translation feature, which allows us to expose our project in over 100 languages without any additional effort. We'll be setting up an intent around returning an order. So first off, let's do that by creating the plus sign, entering the name of our intent, which will be return order. You can add an optional description, which we'll leave out for this demo. And we'll have to provide conversational AI Cloud with a bunch of training phrases on which we'll train our model. So we have a bunch of example phrases around returning an order and different ways an end user might ask us to return an order. I will also include a few topics like uh, what's our return policy in case our users ask about it. We'll add different variations. We'll add a few short phrases, some more elaborate ones. And by providing a decent mix of phrases, phrases in length, we'll make sure that our intent model is able to pick up any relevant uh, distinctions in the ways our end users might ask us. So what we've done now, we've created uh, a little over 10 training phrases. And what that means is that our uh, intent model will be able to pick up uh, different variations in the ways that our end users might try to return an order. So we'll add those phrases. And after that, we'll simply save the intent. Now that, we, that we've added our intent, it's time to train the model, which is as simple as pressing the train button on the top right hand side. Now that we've created and trained our new intent model, it's time for us to define an article that will be returned to our end users whenever they trigger one of our intents. Articles in Conversational AI Cloud are also called Q&As, and they contain triggers and answers. In this case, our intent will be the trigger for the Q&A. So let's create our first Q&A by navigating to the Q&A screen. We'll add a question related to the intent that we want to trigger it with, and we'll also add an answer that relates to the topic of the intent. So first, we'll navigate to the Q&A screen. And since we have an intent around returning orders, we'll add a question about returning an order. And for the answer, we'll say, you can return any order within 14 days after receiving your order. For any issues with your order, please contact our support department. What we'll do then is we'll create the Q&A. And what we'll immediately see is that our system was able to pick up that the return order question uh, will now have the intent trigger around returning an order, meaning that if the intent is triggered by the end user, this Q&A will be returned to them. What we did to prepare for this demo is set up an instance of web conversations, our out-of-the-box web chat interface, which we can use to test our project content. You could also use the test center available within our CMS. For the purposes of this demo, we'll stick with our web chat interface. So let's navigate over to another tab that we've prepared ahead of time. And as you can see here, we have an empty web page with on the bottom right side, uh, an instance of web conversation, which is a small avatar. And if we click on it, a new chat will be opened for us. The title of this web conversations configuration is simply web conversations with welcome to the product update. We're immediately greeted with the text, hi there, welcome to cm.com's conversational AI Cloud feature demo. Is there anything I can help you with? And theoretically, this should now work out of the box with the content we just set up. So if I ask a question about returning my order, I should get the answer that we just defined in the Q&A. And immediately, we see the answer returned to us. You can return any order within 14 days after receiving your order. For any issues with your order, please contact our support department. And this is all well and good, right? So far, we set up an intent around returning an order, and we added a simple article that was triggered by the intent. 
what we're going to check now is to see if we actually speak to this environment, to this project in another language, whether or not it will also pick it up and automatically translate our content. So I'll do it in Dutch. Can I my bestelling retour sturen? And what we'll see is that the system picks up that we're talking Dutch instead of English, and it will automatically translate the content we defined in English to Dutch, making sure that we can uh, provide this uh, project to multiple uh, customers in different languages, depending on the language they choose to use. Thank you for taking the time to look at how to set up your first intent in Conversational AI Cloud, training your intent model, and creating your first Q&A to get an answer out to your end users in just a few minutes. Make sure to check out some of our other feature highlights and thank you for your time.